Hey guys, it's Rachel Groninger with Red Carpet Report, and tonight we're in Westwood at the premiere of Nat Geo's first scripted series, Genius, which is about the life of Albert Einstein. Thank you! I'm Noah. Noah, so yeah. you being one of uh, the writers of Nat Geo's first yeah. scripted series, how did you kind of take or shoulder that weight differently than maybe just um, continuing an existing series? Well, I mean, you have to when you when you when you create a show, you have to start from absolute scratch. So we had a you know we had a wonderful source material, which is Walter Isaacson's biography of Einstein. Uh, but you know the, the the real challenge is giving voice to a character, you know, and and you know such a gigantic character of history. Um, and so it was it was I, I I would lie if I say it wasn't daunting. Uh, but it was, uh, but it was also fun because, like you know, Einstein was yes, he was a genius, and yes, he was so brilliant, but he was so funny, and he was also so flawed. So as a writer, you can really connect to that, you know. Because aren't we all like we're all, we're all flawed, and, and you know, the great thing about Einstein is that you know everyone imagines that like, you know we all remember him as this giant of physics, this man who won the Nobel Prize, who changed the world, but we forget that he was once young. And, For real? <laughs> yeah, serious. And, uh, and that he, you know, he didn't always have gray hair. He didn't always have long hair. Uh, and he, you know, and he made mistakes. And he had these radical ideas. And like all of us, like nobody wanted to listen to him. And so, what is that like? And so, that, this series, I think, will be really surprising for people because they're going to see, you know, you're, they're going to see a young Einstein before he becomes the Einstein we all remember him. And I think, you know, people will be surprised about what kind of man he was. Um. One of the things that I loved about seeing the uh, the trailers and stuff for the movie, yeah. uh, for the series, had to do with that you were showcasing strong women who also influenced his science. Yeah. What made you, or how did you kind of tackle that in, in sort of the culture that we're in right now with women really needing to step forward and, and yeah. helps be seen very visibly? Sure. I mean, well, I grew up with older sisters, so that was... Uh... Oh, so I'm an older <laughs> sister, so you know. I was, I mean, I remember, I remember... Uh, when I was like eight years old, uh, my sister came home from a date and she woke me up. And this has happened very often. And she was always like, this is what you're not going to do on a date, okay? You're not going to pick your nose. You're not going to insult a girl. Okay? Don't. You're going to buy dinner. And I was like, okay, okay. So we're going to- Thank you. <laughs> I will. Please get out of my room. Yeah. And then she comes home the next time. She's like, you're not going to go to a dance and not know how to dance. And so she woke me up and taught me how to dance. And uh, and the dance Your at the time was like- sounds yeah. amazing. <laughs> she should have her own show. Yeah. That sounds fabulous. Yeah, anyway, so uh, she, anyway, so I, I think it's, to answer your question, like, you know, I think, we're, first of all, we're not making anything up. Like this is, you know, Maleva Maric uh, was a giant in physics herself who just got forgotten by history because of the culture yeah. we live in. Uh, and so I think this series, we really want to pay tribute to, uh, you know, to her and to her legacy because she was very important to making Einstein the man he was. Thank you so much for yeah, stopping. I look cool. forward to watching Cheers. it. Cheers. Yeah, thanks. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And uh, go ahead and hit me a like if you're really digging what you're seeing. Follow the channel so you can follow everything that's coming up new. And comment below with uh, if you were inspired to write your own scripted series, who would you write it about?